Hi and welcome students. In this Computer Fundamentals tutorial, I'm going to be going over getting to know your operating system. And the operating systems that I'll be discussing here are Windows and Mac. Let's get started. So first I'm going to go into Windows and we're going to cover the Windows desktop. And this is the screen that you'll see when you sign into your Windows computer. It's also called your wallpaper. It starts at the top left and top right corners of your uh, computer monitor and it goes all the way down until it gets to the taskbar down here at the bottom. The taskbar is located on the far left all the way to the far right and it usually takes up about an inch at the bottom of your screen. Now the desktop area can be used to open up applications like you see Google Chrome here and all you need to do is double click it to open it up. You could also open up files and folders from this area as well and once again you just double click those to open them. The next thing that we're going to talk about is the taskbar which I mentioned is at the bottom of your Windows 10 desktop and this is your shortcut to applications. So I use this area to put my most popular or most used applications right down here and the benefit to that is that it's only one single click to open it rather than a double click. Um, another benefit of this area is that on the far left you have the start menu button and that'll help open your start menu and you also have file Explorer, which is the file folder icon. That's the file management tool for your Windows operating system. Next you have the start menu. The start menu is what happens when you click on that far left bottom button, which is right here, and that is your start menu button. It'll open up this start menu area. This is really useful because it lists all of the applications on your computer alphabetically, and all you need to do is scroll down to the um, application that you want and click it to open it. You could also find uh, shortcuts on here to settings and your documents as well. Uh, the start menu can also be used as a search. All you have to do is click the start menu and immediately start typing. And once you do that, it'll search for any applications, files, or folders on your computer. So that was the Windows operating system, and now let's go over the Mac operating system. Uh, this is your Mac desktop here, and this is, a, once again, also known as your wallpaper. So you're going to notice a lot of similarities between the two operating systems. However, they are set up a little bit different from one another. The menu bar is what's utilized in Mac, and that's up here at the top. You will not find this on Windows. Um, up here at the top, you have your menu bar, and down here is the dock at the bottom. All right, so uh, let's go over what these things actually do. So the menu bar is this area, once again, up at the top, and you have a few different options in here. And one of the main buttons here is the Apple icon button, and that uh, allows you to edit your system preferences, your recent items, apps, and it also allows you to restart or shut down uh, your computer. Uh, one other area that I wanted to highlight was the spotlight search. You can't see it on this uh, screenshot here, but on the far right side there's a little uh, magnifying glass and that will allow you to search for your files, applications, calendar events, web searches, or anything else that you type into that area. Next up is the dock, which is located at the bottom of the Mac OS desktop, and that allows you to uh, basically have your shortcuts to your applications, Safari, Calendar, uh, Finder, any of those things, which are all located in here. Um, and then next up, you also have your folders and your Finder. Uh, Finder is your file management tool for Mac OS, similar to File Explorer on the Windows side. And then finally you have your launch pad. Launch pad is this button right here and that shows all of your applications that are on your Mac OS operating system. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about these operating systems or anything else in general, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.